I recommend you to take a look at Secure Blue, which is a very cool project. It takes U-Blue, which itself is Atomic Fedora with all the restricted stuff included, and adds additional security on top. There are 86 images, 86, Bossers. created from a single GitHub repo, which is also quite crazy, and all the build process is quite beautiful and efficient. There are already a ton of images, and most WMs and desktops only requirement is Wayland support. Oh, yeah, Fedora, right? Because Right, mm -hmm. yeah. There also is a server version, which can replace Fedora Core OS or IoT, while IoT should really be called Fedora Atomic Server. You know, we'll get into that just a little bit. Uh, the images fix some long-needed security issues and have evolved from experimental and opinionated to really usable. Cool. Mate could be an added image, but I can imagine it's less frequent development could lead to security issues. There's a cinnamon image, and I'm curious to try cinnamon on Wayland. By the way, you can already try Cosmic on Atomic Fedora. It got merged under the Ublue namespace and is already somewhat usable. Still in pre-alpha, so be warned. Now, we got to we got to do a couple things. There's a lot to there. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. He, he said secure blue, mm -hmm. Ublue, the atomic word... And for people that did not go back and are caught up on episode four of season four, happy rebasing to everyone, um, that goes into the history of Silver Blue and, you know, Fedora, because you have to. Right. Um, and that it was called the Atomic, like the, the Atomic name. That's how it got started. Yeah. Exactly. And hang tight. We're going to come full circle on that. Absolutely. So, Let's talk about Secure Blue for a sec. Um, a couple of years ago, George Castro started this pro. I, I dug back and I always look at the README because the README, I swear, is always like it's with the first thing or is the it's first like thing first in, it. Yep. in a repo. Yep. Right. There may be something older than that, but I go for the README. That's where we're going with this a couple of years ago. Um, George Castro started this project and he described it as. Immutable Fedora images for GNOME, KDE Plasma, Bluefin, Sway, Cinnamon, Wayfire, River, Hyperlant, and some hardening applied. And it's it's based on Blue Build. We'll talk about that a little bit more. But Blue Build is a service that creates accessible tools for you to create, configure, and build custom images of atomic Fedora distributions. Okay, and all that is based off the ideas that exist in official distribution images like Fedora Silverblue, one of the original immutables, again, season four, episode four. Right. Um, and it, it seems to my very much like Universal Blue. So the U-Blue thing, Universal Blue, and I think we're just going to call it U-Blue. because They call it U-Blue? They Everybody call it U-Blue. Yeah, it's true. Okay. Yeah. So it's, it's U-Blue. Um, because like secure blue it takes the sil silver blue idea a little further so you blue says our main images offer gnome kde xfce lxcute budgie and mate with more being added regularly our nvidia images offer unique blend of reliability and ease of use that you won't find anywhere else these are offered in a variety of images to fit your needs. And they got like an Asus one that yeah. has like Asus drivers and stuff That's built cool. in. With a, I think there's a kernel. There's a Asus kernel that has all the junk built into it. That way you don't have to do the OS tree, you mm -hmm. know, rebuild and throw this in there and bork your entire immutable mm -hmm. system. Yeah. They've got a framework one. They've got a Surface one. But okay. So to recap. Silver Blue is Fedora's general immutable version that works a lot like how Android, iOS, or even Chromebooks work. And then there's also Kinoite, and I know I'm saying it wrong, Cer Ceracia, Ceracia, something, whatever that was, the, the Sway the one. The Sway version, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that one. Um, where the image is the entire system. Right? Like, it's kind of like you download an entire new ISO every time you update. And it's because you don't, in, you, you don't update individual packages. You update the whole system. Right. You jump from version to version. Uh, regular applications are typically just flat packs. Right. And 
you can work around it. You can work around, you know, I don't, you know, this thing doesn't work in Flatpak RPM Fusion. I'm looking at you. Oh, yeah. Um, so you have to do this uh, thing called layering. Yep. Um, but, you know, takes a little bit of CLI magic. You got to learn a couple new commands to to make all that work. But it's still Fedora under the hood. And that comes with all the usual fast sharp corners like no proprietary codex by default. But that's what you blue and by extension secure blue are trying to fix. Right. Right. They just give you the system the way I argue Fedora should have given it to you in the first place. But they yeah, there's licensing make reasons. It, and I understand why. I just don't like it. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fair. <laughs> Yeah, I, 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 they make a great system if you were really interested in, in utilizing the not proprietary things, they make it there for you. So you don't yeah. have to strip anything out. So that's kind of nice. And yeah, it's I'll a talk to the bloat guys. They'll still strip I know, stuff it's, out but, somehow. But like, it's a pain. I get it to add things on, but I think you have to start with the lowest common denominator before you you know, because it's easier to add things on than it is to strip them out, I feel like. So um, I think starting the way they do is not terrible. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's not a bad place to start. I wish it was a little easier to get the it would be nice. things that you need. But, yeah. Yeah. You know, I totally understand it. And I'll work around it. I mean, it's Fedora right there. I work around it. It's not, it's not that big a deal. But you do need a little bit of know-how to get it done. Or you just come into you do. You know, Telegram and ask, I, I, and I'm warming we'll up, help you. I'm warming up to it. I don't know if I'm all in yet, but um, no, I'm not all half in. in. I'm half, half in, in, half out. I, I like to explore things. And I blame Neil Gampa on this because he's the one that got, got me. I don't know why. It, it's Plasma 6. It draws me in every time. Yeah, and yeah, uh, yeah. It's all his fault. Anyway, he'll take it well. <laughs> yeah, I think it's worth a look um, because, you know, I'm I'm a fan of hardening up the system, right? Like, I will freely give people I trust telemetry on my system, but everybody else can, mm. you know, run up against the brick walls that Secure Blue is providing. You're right. That is a fantastic thing. So that's great. But if all that jazz wasn't confusing enough, the base, Silver Blue and all of its ilks, Seracia and... Kino White and everything yeah, else uh, got a new umbrella rebrand. This just happened last month, I think. Yeah, um, it, a few weeks ago, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, it's not too yeah. long. All the main Fedora immutable distros got a new umbrella term, and they're all called the Fedora Atomic Desktops, which is a recurrence of the old name, which was Fedora Atomic Workstation. They're the same thing. Yep. <laughs> it's, the, it's the same idea. What's old I think is it's new? Fully, yeah, but it, it's, it's, <laughs> it's more fleshed out. It's yep. a 2024 version right. of where Workstation started us all out. And, but you know, yeah, what's old is new as a good way to put it. What's old is new again. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, don't make sure, uh, go make sure, check out uh, season four, episode four, Happy Rebasing to Everyone. It goes into the history of uh, yep. all of this jazz. It came out too early to cover the atomic desktop rebrand but it, we it, told you here so now you know we're all caught up again that's it so if you fall into both camps immutability and tinfoil ability mm -hmm. you'll love secure blue now if we could just get secure blue built into the U blue images for the framework based on fedora silver blue based on fedora workstation based on the linux kernel i'd be a happy camper well, I, I'm going to guess that you probably aren't going to have to wait forever, Leo. I think it'll happen. Yeah, probably not. I, well, I, I have a feeling that I could just take like the YAML from one project and slap it on the YAML from the other project, and, and make like, your if own I had image. To. Make your own. Yeah, image. I was going to. Yeah, and then mm. use the what? What was the name of the thing? I already forgot. Blue yep. build. Blue build. To just to just roll my own. Just build your own. Uh, that's and that right there is the wonderful world of immutability and atomicity. It's wonderful, just like throwing a fresh new ROM on your Google Nexus Five. <laughs> so catch these 
and other great topics as they unfold on the Lemmy subreddit or our news channel on Discord, which now feeds in from Lemmy. So Lemmy is now the canonical news place. Now I have to figure out how to get Reddit to accept Lemmy stuff. Yeah, maybe we could just... I don't, yeah, that's one way to do it. I mean, I guess they all have RSS feed thingies, don't they? Yeah, can can Reddit ingest from an RSS feed because that's all we need because Lemmy has, like, by default, just RSS, curates yeah. the RSS for mm -hmm. you. That's how I'm actually getting it into Discord. Discord has a bot that feeds in through an RSS feeder, and so I'm just having it look at Lemmy, and it just boop, 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 all the things. I'm not sure, because, like, of all the hubbub that went down with all the stuff yeah. at Reddit, like, it's that's the terms and conditions problem, or I don't know. Who knows? And they're public now? They they just rolled into pub. Yeah, they're a public they company now. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I'm glad we have right. Lemmy as a backup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah it's the primary now i think I yeah mean, like it I seems said, to be going that way doesn't it i i post stuff to reddit because we have a few folks over on reddit yeah um but i mean lemmy's where it happens man there's a lot like, of engagement over on lemmy seems like yeah but we're Love still it. there too so yeah yep of course you can dig us up on uh mastodon you can dig us up on the old twitters as well um and, of course, if you want to chat, there's a Discord, as I was mentioning before, but there's also Telegram and Matrix if you're uh, of the FOSS persuasion mm -hmm. and don't want to get your grubby little hands dirty with uh, all that proprietary jazz. Um, and then we do live streams on Twitch. So those happen usually the day after an episode airs unless something happens and right. we either postpone or cancel, something like that. But, you know, day after an episode airs, look, look. over to the Twitch because we'll, we'll be, be there. there. Mm-hmm. And uh, if you um, if you're not the live kind of person, um, we wait a couple days and we post that over on YouTube as well for you to go watch the uh, they call it VOD video on demand in uh, in Twitch. So uh, you can get the VOD over on YouTube. That's a good name. Anyway, go find us. We're out there. 